When we launched, a lot of people laughed at us. We went to banks, credit facilities. They told us this was not going to work. How are you going to verify people using this bevy of data we have and using machine learning tools, we could create new ways to evaluate credit. For a long time, about 70% of the African population couldn't get access to loans. There was just no way for the large lenders to give out micro loans because it wasn't worth it for them. Our job is to come up with more creative ways to bring over 500 million people who've been left behind by financial services into this ecosystem. The number one business use of our loans is small business loans. Someone who lives far away in the remote northern village built credit within the platform and was able to buy a couple of cows and you know get their business going. He's able to sell those cows, buy more cows, take more loans, and empower himself, empower his family. He can also create employment for other people. The core problem we really wanted to solve initially was verifying people in a country that has gone decades without a proper identification system. The first step was connecting into a national biometric verification database. That information gets moved on to the cloud. As we scaled, we needed a system that could actually scale with us. Recognition actually allows us to focus more on our core, which is giving our credit. We're able to rely on recognition to actually be able to perform a proof of life where we ask some of our customers to perform some gestures. We put it to test. They take pictures like two, three times, and then we cross-reference that particular picture with what the person has actually submitted with the government. And once it matches, we're able to say you are actually alive and you are who you say you are. That has actually cut the time from a month, a week, down to a few seconds. Our customers actually love it.